Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. In a rebel held town, they bury the dead. But this ceremony is for a Gaddafi loyalist, though the mourners all support the revolution. He was still a Muslim and a Libyan, they say. They want no bitterness, a fresh start for the country. There's unfinished business first. A loyalist prisoner is interrogated. He gives up the names of those handing out weapons and leaders. So the rebels decide to let him go. They hope that if loyalist foot soldiers have nothing to fear, they will surrender. No sign of that in cert. Tribal talks haven't worked, so the rebels are sending forward heavy weapons. The deadline for surrender is tomorrow, but the rebels are still a long way from Sirte, 50 miles from here. And as they get closer, the casualties mount. We move up to the place the injured came from. We're at the rebels' most forward position, and all the shouting is because they've just taken quite a bit of incoming grad fire. These were positions they thought they had secured, but they're having to fight for every mile of territory. They're shelling us so heavily because they're retreating, he says. There is heavy fighting, he goes on, but he confidently declares, tomorrow we shall reach Sirte. That is doubtful. But while Sirte may not fall on their leader's timetable, the rebels are confident it will fall. Paul Wood, BBC News, in eastern Libya.